come to all. This video contains some important basic questions of how to solve refractive index. If you are facing the problem in the numericals of the refractive index, this is a short and the best video. So here we start. A beam of light passes from air into a substance X. If the angle of incidence be 72 degree and the angle of refraction be 40 degree, what will be the refractive index? So we need to calculate the refractive index. So from the question, it is clear and it is given. What is given, we will be writing. I am telling you the exact method, how you need to present the questions in your exam. So given that angle of incidence, if you could read the question, angle of incidence be 72 degree. So angle of incidence is 72 degree. And if I talk about angle of refraction is also given to us. So angle of refraction is 40 degree. Now, if we know according to the Snell's law, there is a formula according to the Snell's law. So according to Snell's law. So what is according to Snell's law? That refractive index is equals to sin i upon sin r. So sin i upon sin r that is sine to the angle of incidence. Sin i that means sine 72 degree upon sine 40 degree is equal to. So it's equal to what? See the values of the sign which is complicated and not in your maths portion will be given to you. So sine 72 degree must also be given to you in the question is 0 0.951 and sine 40 degree is 0 0.642. So decimals and decimals, since the decimals are at the same distance, so we'll cut and after cutting, we'll divide and find that the refractive index is 1.4. It. So yes, the refractive index of substance X, you need to write it properly. Refractive index of substance X is what? Yes, 1.48. So it's clear the very first formula for calculating refractive index is sin i upon sin r. The next question says light enters from air into a glass plate having refractive index 1.50. What is the speed of light in glass? So yes the next formula of refractive index when we need to calculate refractive index of a medium as they are asking q okay refractive index of a medium is given to you that is 1.50 so the formula of refractive index of the medium is speed of light in vacuum that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 upon speed of light in medium v yes so speed of light in vacuum we all know you need to learn that a speed of light in vacuum or air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and it's fixed you need to learn it no one will give you this value the next is refractive index of glass is given so we'll write it in this manner when it is given refractive index of glass that means it's given with respect to air jab sirf ek medium likha hota hai to ye hamesha air ke respect mein hota hai to isko hum aise bhi likh sakte hain air with respect to glass to in dono ka matlab ek hi hai jo hame 1.50 given hai that is refractive index of glass but what is the formula of refractive index it is speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in medium. So we will write the value of refractive index putting up the values in this formula. That is what we need to calculate speed of light in glass. So I can exchange it. This formula is V equal to C upon what NG. That is my refractive index. The value of C is we know 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And then NG refractive index, the value is 1.50. 1.50 and 3 got cancelled, that is 2. So the speed is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per 
second that is the speed of light in glass which we were asking about the next question says that the speed of light in vacuum and in two different glasses is given in the table below yes you could notice that the medium and the speed of light is given the medium are vacuum flint glass and crown glass and the respective speeds are given you need to calculate the absolute refractive indexes of flint glass and crown glass and the second part says that you need to calculate relative refractive index for light going from crown glass to flint glass so before starting with it you must know the meaning of absolute refractive index so what does the term absolute refractive index means that we know the refractive index or the formula of the refractive index is the speed of light in medium 1 upon speed of light in medium 2 just explaining you speed of light in medium 1 upon speed of light in medium 2 we call this as relative refractive index what do we call it as relative refractive index but when it is given that the first medium is c that is the speed of light in air or the speed of light in vacuum our formula changes in this particular manner that the refractive index is c upon v as we have used in the previous questions so this c upon v is the formula of absolute refractive index and when we have two different mediums the formula is v1 upon v2 now as the part a says that we need to calculate the refractive index absolute refractive indexes of flint glass and crown glass they are asking us two questions so the part one says that i need to calculate n n means refractive index of flint glass first so my formula is c upon v the value of c if i'll talk about I have already told you that you need to learn it's 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second upon V. What is the value of V? It's given that the speed of the flint glass because we are calculating the refractive index of flint. So I need to take V of the flint glass that is 1.86 into 10 to the power 8. Yes. So 10 to the power 8 and 10 to the power 8 got cancelled. I got it as 3 upon 1.86 which you will solve and you will get the value as 1.61 so you could see that the refractive index has no unit because both are the speed and the units of both the speeds get cancelled out and so the refractive index is 1.61 the second portion is that you need to calculate the absolute refractive index of crown glass so how we will calculate the absolute refractive index of crown glass it's just the same so for calculate so for calculating the absolute refractive index of crown glass we will be writing n and yes the refractive index of crown glass the formula remains the same that is c upon v since they have talked about the refractive index sorry or absolute refractive index the c is the speed of light in air that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second upon the refractive index of the crown the speed of the crown plus that is 1.97 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second as given in the question 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 got cancelled we need to divide 3 upon 1.97 remove the decimal put two zeros and then you will divide and get the value as 1.52 without unit since refractive index has no unit the p part says that you need to calculate the relative refractive index so relative refractive index from crown glass to flint glass So we need to calculate the relative refractive index from crown glass to flint glass. So it's going from crown to flint and it's relative. So we need to notice this thing in very carefully in the question. Ki first they have talked about which medium? They have talked about the crown glass. So for calculating the ref relative refractive index, I need to write it in this manner. Crown, because they have talked about crown first, refractive index symbol flint so this is the way 
and how we'll write speed of light in crown glass speed of light in crown glass upon speed of light the second medium they're talking about flint glass so no no just get respect my body crown glass to flint glass i have written in that particular respect speed of light in flint glass okay so crown glass what is the value of speed of light in crown glass it's 1.97 into 10 to the power 8 upon what is the speed of light in yes speed of light in flint glass is 1.86 into 10 to the power 8 so again 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 got cancelled decimals got removed and we got the value as 1.059 that is the refractive index or the relative refractive index for light going from crown glass to flint glass The next question says the refractive indices of four substances P, Q, R and S are 1.50, 1.36, 1 1.77 and 1 1.31 respectively. The speed of light is maximum in the substance. So there are four substances given to you P, Q, R, S and the refractive index of all the four substances is given to you. The refractive index of P is 1.50, the refractive index of Q is 1.36. The refractive index of R is 1.77 and the refractive index of S is 1.31. So these are the four refractive index given to you. Now they are asking you the speed of light is maximum in. We know the formula of the refractive index is the speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in medium. The speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second for all the cases and is constant. So we could notice that the refractive index is now directly re in, is related to the speed of light in the medium and we could easily notice that they are inversely related. So I could easily denote that if the refractive index will increase the speed of light in the medium will decrease. So they are how they are related inversely the speed of light in medium with the refractive index. So we could notice they are asking the speed of light is maximum since they are asking the speed of light is maximum mean, means v must be maximum so that means refractive index must be the lowest and you could see the refractive index is lowest in s so the correct answer would be s that is 1.31 and you could write that the speed of light is maximum in the substance in which refractive index is the lowest that is 1.31 Okay, the next question says that the refractive indices of four media A, B, C and D are 1.44, 1.52, 1.65 and 1.36 respectively. When light traveling in the air is incident in these media at equal angles, the angle of refraction will be minimum. So we need to tell the minimum angle of refraction. Up in this question, we know that the formula of refractive index is equal to sin i upon sin r. We have chosen this formula just because we have chosen this formula refractive index is equal to sin i by sin r because the angles are given to us the angles of incident and the angle of refraction. So in this question it is mentioned that the air is incident in equal angles. So angle of incident is same in all the cases. In A, B, C and D, we need to calculate angle of refraction with respect to refractive index. Again, refractive index would be inversely related to the angle of refraction. Yes. And this angle of refraction is inversely related to refractive index. We need to calculate the minimum angle of refraction. That means the refractive index must be highest. And if we could notice... A is 1.44, B is 1.52, C is 1.65 and D is 1.36. So refractive index is highest in the case of 1.65. So the ref angle of refraction will be minimum in case of 1.65. So the correct answer will be 
the medium C with the refractive index 1.65. Thank you for giving your precious time. I hope these five questions were of different types and helped you to how to solve the numericals of refraction.